All right, and joining us now from Ottawa is government leader in the Senate, Senator Marjorie LeBreton, and we do appreciate you being with us today. You're very welcome, Karen. I have to ask you, do you think at this point, given all of the twists and turns, the scandal, the developments that have been coming almost on a daily basis, Senator, does the Senate lack legitimacy? Well, uh, I've certainly said that over the last few days, and, and actually that is at the root of the problem, uh, Karen. Uh, because the Senate it lacks legitimacy, is not seen by the public to be accountable, because it's, it's unelected and therefore unaccountable, uh, anything that happens in the Senate, uh, such as what we've faced in the last uh, few months, is really magnified because people, if it were in the House of Commons, at least they know uh, come election time that they can take matters into their own hands and defeat these people. In the case of the Senate, they feel very frustrated that there's actually no action they can take, it, take to uh, address the problem. And so you're looking for new Senate expense rules. Walk yes. us through in a nutshell what you'd like to see. What exactly are these changes that you, you're proposing at this point? Yeah. Well, uh, Karen, just, um, just to go back a little bit here, um, the, the Senate, uh, for most of my life, my whole life, has been uh, basically dominated by the Liberals. It's been a Liberal institution. When we finally got the majority, the Conservatives got the majority um, a couple of years ago, the first thing we did with our majority is we uh, changed the process by which senators' expenses are reported and we started to publicize them online on a quarterly basis. Have, had we not done that, Karen, um, things would have carried on because the Senate, uh, through the Internal Economy Committee, they work in a cooperative, collaborative way. So, but had we not done that, it would have been business as usual, uh, the things that went on in the past uh, would have uh, would have continued, and and so that was what uh, you know that's what prompted me to, uh, with my now infamous lickspittle line was that no we never got any credit for that mm -hmm. and now it's frustrating because people say to me why did you open that can of worms I'm glad we did because it was along the lines of our government's promise to be more accountable but if you don't mind uh, Karen I'll just uh, a liberal senator a former liberal senator um, uh, appointed by Jean Chrétien, uh, Thelma Shalafu from Alberta was quoted today on APTN News when asked if, uh, if uh, she saw these uh, examples of this in the past, and she said, oh yes, but it was all under the table and it wasn't publicized. Well, uh, Thelma Shalafu is telling the truth because that's what went on in the right. past. Right, and it's good that it's out in the open, you're yes. right, but the question is, you know, is there anything that can be done right now to save the Senate? Is it time to abolish it? Have senators, in essence, gone wild? Well, um, well Karen, uh, actually they have not. By and large, most senators, and I think if you check the record, we probably have a better attendance record now uh, in the Senate. Uh, the Senate committees work well. We pass legislation. Unfortunately, the actions of a few have uh, shone the light on us, uh, but uh, you know, I actually see it as a good thing because it gives us a chance to now fix this once and for all. <clears throat> the Liberal leader, Justin Trudeau, speaking of uh, fixing this, he worries about how abolishing the Senate would affect his home province of Quebec. Quebec obviously has 24 Senate seats. What do you mm -hmm. make of that type well, of comment? Well, well, Karen, that just proves that the Liberals have no intention of changing the Senate. They, they stand for the status quo. His remarks are unbelievably dumb and very divisive. And uh, I think, uh, I, I, actually, I actually think uh, this proves the point that the only government, the only people that are actually going to change the Senate, reform it or abolish it, uh, well, the only person that can do it is the Prime Minister and the only government that can do it is the Conservative government. Senator, because the other two will not. Right. Senator, you referenced the actions of a few and you're right. We're yes. talking obviously about Mike Duffy, uh, Matt Carr, you know, several uh, yes. others. There have been questions about what the PMO knew and didn't know um, yeah. given his own right-hand man cut a check for Mike Duffy. We're talking $90,000. Do you think, like, are Canadians really to believe that the Prime Minister didn't know anything? Who, who knew about this? Well, well, well Karen, I, try, I had the... Uh, honor of traveling with the Prime Minister on three election campaigns and I can tell you without a shred of doubt that he would have not known about this. Absolutely not possible. Uh, I do believe Nigel Wright. Uh, I believe, uh, not, and I've been in the Prime Minister's office before, I know the pressure cooker environment sometimes in that office, and I actually do believe uh, uh, Nigel realizing that this uh, 
uh, this uh, was causing difficulty and we were always very careful with taxpayers' money. Uh, I think Nigel actually thought he could fix this himself and I think it was a big mistake. I'm sure he'd be the first person to admit it, but I do believe it is a mistake and I do believe that he acted alone and I absolutely not for one moment would ever uh, think that the Prime Minister knew anything about it because it's impossible. All right, Leader of the Government in the Senate, Marjorie LeBreton, joining us from Ottawa and we appreciate your time, Senator. You're very welcome, Karen, and enjoy your show. Thank you.